News now the Black Lives Matter mural in front of Cincinnati City Hall is in need of repair after someone vandalized it. Local 12's Alexa Helwig is downtown with what artists are saying and doing about it. Alexa. Adam, well, the paint that was poured over the mural has still not been cleaned up and organizers are saying this is cowardly and unfortunate. Now Cincinnati police want to know who did it, so they have released surveillance video from the morning that it happened. Red paint splattered all over the letters E and S. It was a rude awakening for artists who put days of work into Cincinnati's Black Lives Matter mural. Michael Copage is one of them. He had to come and see it in person. The damage is actually a little more significant than I, I thought it was in the picture. Um, the letters that were destroyed uh, were about education and about being treated equally and fairly. Cincinnati police think this is the only person involved. They released surveillance video from when it happened early Sunday morning. People found out about the damage last night, and some even brought their own supplies to try and clean it up. If the mural is a body, this splatter of paint is like a gunshot wound, you know, it's a mess. Uh, the mural needs surgery, it's hemorrhaging, it's losing its integrity, it's losing its, uh, its impact, and we need to get down here and, and touch it up. Cincinnati City Council member Greg Landsman was a proponent of the project when artists brought up the idea. It turned out to be a, a beautiful gift and to see it vandalized uh, is a terrible, terrible thing. He says the city is quickly working on making the street a permanent pedestrian plaza. Then the artists could fix the mural. Commitment on both sides is to make sure we do have a long-term plan before we uh, fix it because we want to make sure when we do fix it, it's something that uh, we can all enjoy together for a long time. And those artists, they are eager to get down here to make those repairs. They hope to put a clear coat over the mural. So if something were to happen to it in the future, it would be an easy fix. And now Cincinnati police, they are still unsure what charges this person will face. We're live at City Hall, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Alexa, thank you for that. And if you know anything about this vandalism, you're asked to call police. The number for Crime Stoppers, 513-352-3040.